Welcome back guys to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In the previous video we created this automatic landscape material which uh, detects the steepness of the terrain and colors it uh, depending on the steepness. As you can see here we have some dirt which is on the lower parts. Um, we have a grass on the flat parts and on the really steep parts we have this uh, rock texture. We will adjust this even more to look even nicer as of right now it does not look the greatest and that is because this is only this terrain is only made for the testing purposes and uh, in this video I will show you how to get a more realistic terrain without you actually having to create all of this by yourselves. So let me show you real quick what I mean with this. So in, if we open up the landscape, uh, create a new landscape, let's drag this inside. So here we can see that we can create a new landscape and also we can import from file. And we can import the height map, which basically is just a, a black and white image which um, gives the computer information on the heights and we can get these height maps, height maps online and one of the sites that I prefer to use is called Terrain Party. I will have the link down in the description probably and uh, yeah this basically uh, when you open the site it puts you somewhere in the uh, Finland and you can Click this plus to make the terrain even bigger and this goes up to 60 kilometers. And that's the max size you can get out of this. So, but as you can see from this map, we don't really know which terrain we would like to use. So what I like to do is open up Google Maps first and uh, search for the terrain that I would prefer. So I already looked ahead and I decided that I really like this Romanian landscape, which has these, um, yeah, I'm not really sure how to call these, but this place just looks amazing and, and I really, I really like it. So I will try to copy this terrain. Um, so what we should do, since here we don't have the terrain, we need to remember some of the cities that are around this area. So I'm going to remember this Krajova. Uh, I believe that's what it's called. Probably not. Probably I sp I, I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I need to remember this city and know that my terrain is um, next to it. So I will go to this map. I will search for Romania. There is Romania and there is the city that I just spoke of. So that means that the uh, terrain that I'm looking for is somewhere around here. So I will get my blue square and drag this in. There it is. And I will put it somewhere around here which seems pretty reasonable. So if we would open up the map again, let's see some other cities. Let's say this one, where is it? It does not appear. So let's see, here is some Deva, Diva, Deva, not sure. So here it is. So we need somewhere right in between of those two. So probably somewhere a little bit higher. And let's select this region over here. So next thing we can click on this export Let's type in the name and let's call this Terrain 1. Okay. And this gives us a download link in a second. So now we can save this and let's actually use it. So now that we have downloaded our height maps, I'm going to add a new landscape. And for the import from file height map, I'm going to use my newly downloaded height map. And I'm going to use the middle one, which is called merged. So I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to import this and as you can see this creates some pretty cool looking mountains. Only issues is that this uh, the sort of flatter surface is not really that flat. It is a bit choppy and we still need to work on this a little bit. But this gives us some pretty epic mountains over here. So now that we have our height map in. I'm going to do some small adjustings to this. So the first thing what I will do is definitely move this out of the way where I have my already created game. There we go. So we'll move this down a bit as well. And I will do some adjusting, some sculpting and uh, some smoothing to this whole thing. First of all, what I want to do is make a couple of areas totally flat. I will delete this terrain as well. Um, so let's see, 
here we have these pretty decently looking mountains and we have some huge ones over there so what I might do is I will select my terrain select the sculpting tools and I will do the flatten and I want to flat some of these surfaces so I will do this with this one let's make it the fade out way bigger so let's flatten this whole thing out Before I bring my character in here, I will select this terrain and I will select the landscaping and I will select the manage. And I will copy some of this um, all across here, somewhere all around. So I will simply just select this whole area right here, like so. And I will do this all across like this. I will press Ctrl C and this will basically copy the uh, height map. So now we can rotate this to our desired location and I will move this out a bit. Something like this, I guess. Let's see. Let's move this out even more. So where does our terrain end? There it is. So I will move this in like so probably. And now I will select. Let's see. Oh, actually, I don't need to select anything. It is already selected the uh, circle brush and we can just simply paint it. And now the terrain should pop up. So let's make this even bigger and let's just simply draw and as you can see the terrain is starting to come up and it's starting to form the way we want it to the way it's uh, represented in front of us so if we work this tool a bit we don't have a big enough space but we can work with this so now if we check this out we are drawing mountains on the sides as well. So now this way our character will not be able to fall off the world, of the edge of the world basically. So I will do this a bit more. So I have this still selected. I can still rotate this. So I will rotate this even more and I will move this out to over here and draw some more. Three. So basically this is my terrain as of right now. I will do some more adjustings with the um, uh, smoothing tool and also the uh, flatten tool uh, noise to make my, uh, make my terrain nicer because these few weird lines are not what I'm looking for. So I'll be back in a second once I have adjusted these.
So I've copied some of the hills over here, but as you can see, these are like really, really um, straight lines, straight cubes. So what I did was in uh, there over here, maybe you saw it in the time lapse. Um, I selected the flatten tool. I made the brush fade off to zero. So this is one and this is zero fully. And what I do is just simply click on the ground where it's flat, where is my desired height. And I just simply really quickly go on top of it like so. And this basically flattens the whole thing out pretty nicely. So I might do this a couple of more times to get the effect that I want it to. So this is how I fix this issue. So I can smooth out some edges later on. But basically I just flattened the whole this weird um, shape that I had. So now it looks more way more better than it did before. So I just quickly, 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 quickly. And then I can just clean up some weird spots that I don't like on the ground to be like so 